Catherine looked pensive today as she took part in the late Queen's funeral procession and religious service at Westminster Hall today. The new Princess of Wales, 40, has been by her husband since it was announced his grandmother had died last Thursday, and looked somber today as she walked behind the sovereign's coffin while it was moved from Buckingham Palace to Westminster. Members of the royal family including King Charles III, the Prince of Wales, the Duke of Sussex, Duke of York and the Earl of Wessex followed the Queen's coffin on foot during the move through London. The Duchess of Cambridge and Cornwall, as she is now known, looked samba in a Catherine Walker dress as she followed the procession in a car. For the occasion, she wore a pair of pearl dropped earrings and a pearl brooch. This is the last time the Queen's body will be moved before her funeral on Monday at Westminster Hall. After the ceremony, it will be taken to her final resting place, her beloved Windsor Castle. Kate looked elegant in a black dress, which she adorned with a brooch made of three imposing pearls and a stem which matched her earrings. It is believed the Queen wore the brooch during her visit to South Korea in 1999 and Kate wore it in Belgium for the 100th anniversary of Paskendel in 2017. It matched the dropped earrings she wore for the occasion. The earrings belonged to Princess Diana and were a wedding gift to her from Collingwood Jewelers for her wedding to Prince Charles in 1981. Kate has worn them several times since she her wedding to Prince William, and sported them for her official 40th birthday portraits. Her hair was styled down, and she wore a small veil over her eyes this afternoon. For William and Harry it will bring back painful memories of when they, aged 15 and 12, walked behind the coffin of their mother Princess Diana in 1997. More than one million people are expected to queue in central London for up to 35 hours to walk past her casket, but experts believe only 400,000 will make it inside meaning 600,000 people will be left disappointed. Well-wishers will begin filing past the coffin to mark the start of four and a half days of the Queen lying in state. A round-the-clock vigil will be mounted under the catafalque by officers of the Household Division the King's Bodyguards of the Honourable Corps of Gentlemen at Arms, the King's Bodyguard for Scotland, the Royal Company of Archers and the King's Bodyguard the Yeoman of the Guard. It will remain open 24 hours a day until at 6.30am on Monday. Hundreds of thousands of people are expected to line the streets to pay their respects to the Queen. The queue is expected to stretch for five miles, taking up to 30 hours to reach the front. Once people have passed through Albert Embankment, they will be directed across Lambeth Bridge, into Victoria Tower Gardens. Extra welfare facilities, including toilets and water fountains, have been placed sporadically along the route.